Welcome back to another lecture within the Python Bootcamp. Today, we're going to go over course setup and installation. Throughout this course, we will be using a few technologies that allow us to develop and work with the Python programming language. What we will need is an IDE, which is an integrated development environment, and to install Python. What is an IDE? It's an application or environment that allows us to be able to program easier. IDEs typically come with a source editor, a debugger, and build tools. If you are experienced with a specific IDE already and you want to use it, you may use whatever you want. But for this course, we will be using the PyCharm Community Edition. It's a very powerful IDE, and the best part about it is it's free. So how do we get Python? We will be using Anaconda, which is a Python distribution. A Python distribution just means we will be getting Python packaged with libraries and frameworks. Anaconda is a big download. If it's too big, feel free to download Miniconda, which is a smaller package of Anaconda. So let's get started. When you open up your favorite browser, go to Anaconda Python download, where we will see the individual edition. Once you are here, you will see that you are now on the homepage of Anaconda, where it talks about all the stuff that Anaconda can do. So build machine learning models, the open source community at your fingertips. Anaconda has a user interface, which makes learning easier. So let's click on install Anaconda, which will bring us down to the three different types of installations. We have Windows, we have Mac, and we have Linux. I am a Mac user, so I would be downloading the graphic installer 64-bit for Mac. If you are a Windows, please click the Windows. If you are a Linux, please click the Linux. At the time of this recording, Python 3.8 is the most modern version of Python. When you are watching, that version may be different and that is okay. Once you download, please install Anaconda onto your PC. Now, if this is too big, this 462 to 500 megabyte file, please go back up into the Google search bar and type in Miniconda. Miniconda is a smaller Anaconda package or distribution. It is not nearly as big as Anaconda, but at the same time, it does not have as many libraries and frameworks. Once Miniconda opens, you can scroll down to the downloads where you'll see the 3.8 Python version download for Miniconda for Windows, for Mac, and then for Linux. Just follow the installation, just like you would for Anaconda, and install Miniconda onto your machine only if you do not have enough space for Anaconda. I recommend installing Anaconda over Miniconda. Then head over to PyCharm. PyCharm CE is the IDE we will be using for Python. PyCharm is made by JetBrains, which is a very good IDE company. So since we're gonna be using the free version of PyCharm, we can head over to the download button and click on the community version. This is a free open source version. The professional version comes with extra add-ons we do not need for this course. So the community edition is totally fine. So click download and install PyCharm. Once you download and install Anaconda or Miniconda and PyCharm, please head over into your terminal. For a Mac, it is the terminal application. And for Windows, it is going to be your command line. And let's type in Python. You may get a Python 2.7 is not recommended if you're using a Mac. So let's type in quit parentheses and just type in Python 3. This will show you that you have the newest version of Python installed. So let's go ahead and type in print parentheses inside the parentheses a double quotation mark and say hello world inside. Once you wrote this command, press enter and you will see that it prints hello world back. You have just created your first Hello World Python application. 